Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I forgot to put my light switch on. <laughs> Welcome back to Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Yeah, well, indeed, Wednesday, bump day. Bump day? Nah, Wednesday. It is Wednesday. And um, boy, what a day I had yesterday. I tell you what, I'll tell my sister, I'm not sure my sister's watching. They will never call me again to, to fit the lino down at mum's. You know, call me to do like you know, build up a wall or build a house, but not to lay down a lino, man. That's just not my bag. Ah, goodness, I'm bad and bruised like bad and rouge. But anyway, we are here. We are live. We have got some news in regards to you know Pedro Neto, Pedro Neto, and who else do we have? Oh yeah, Wilfred Zaha, Arsenal are uh, allegedly eyeing up Wilfred Zaha. Remember, we we're supposed to have him. Well, anyway, we'll get into that. And um, Hector Bellerin, the saga, Hector Bellerin and AZ Metanata just rolls and rolls and rolls on. My goodness. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I did not video. It was, I went live yesterday. Live. Yeah, in North London, outside of Compton Arms. Um, I'm hoping to go and see them uh, sometime uh, this week if I, if I do have the time. But I will be going to uh, the, the Emirates uh, to see a good friend of mine. I won't be seeing the game, unfortunately. Um, yeah, some some priorities uh, take precedence above, you know, paying for a ticket to go see uh, Fulham and Arsenal play. But anyhow, we are live. Come into the live chat and as well to subscribe as well to Kind of Boy TV. Come in the live chat. Let me know your thoughts. Yeah, we're gonna get into this one <laughs> on the other side of this music intro. Yes, indeedy. Welcome back again to Canon for the, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. I am just absolutely cream crackered yesterday, man. I left here morning, lunchtime, just for lunchtime, went, made my way to do a live show. I did say, you know, the, the location, uh, if you know North London, at least up a street, went to Compton Arms in a video news segment. And yeah, then to my mum's to do some DIY work. I am absolutely tired. I've got to do some more work in the garden. Forget about that, though. We are here to talk about Arsenal. We're here to talk about Arsenal. But if you can do me a favour and subscribe to Canon Forty, even like it says somewhere down here, somewhere over there, and also come into live chat. Let me know your thoughts about you know anything related to Arsenal. If you've got any questions? Uh, you want to get something off your chest about Arsenal? And I, I heard some some really distressing news yesterday. I'll get to that, you know, towards the end of this new segment here, on Wednesday morning on Canon for the TV. Right. So the first new segment um, is in regards to um, yeah, Pedro Neto, yeah, Bruno Large, Lage, Large uh, reacts to Arsenal transfer interest in Wolves star Pedro Neto. Wolves manager admits it's only normal for a player of Pedro Neto's quality to be linked to a, a, a club like Arsenal stature. I'm not sure how to take that. But anyway, a 22-year-old um, is among a clutch of talented Portuguese players who helped transform the, the well, the, this this team that actually Nuno Espirito Santo kind of built up, the Portuguese revolution. Um, I have done a video. The, vin, the video went up live, uh, I said about 14 minutes ago. So if you want to know my thoughts as well as the reports, um, check out the video. Check out the video. Uh, there you go. Quick section, quick session just out. Boom. Knocked out of the park. The other new segment is, now I don't tend to believe this one here. I don't believe this one. This news report is saying that Rupert Zaha being eyed up again by Arsenal. Three years after Una Emery wanted him at Arsenal and I don't know, the powers that be, the board, the ownership, signed. Who did they sign? Nico Pepe. Una Emery wanted with Zaha, and they gave him Nicolas Pepe. But yeah, this this is coming from somebody revealed this week that the, in the background uh, there there's uh, Wilfred Zaha, for example. The uh, deal is not moving forward at the moment. 
But Zaha is definitely one of those who uh, ticks those boxes and Arsenal have an eye on him. Yeah, and I've got an eye on Wilfred Zaha every time he plays against Arsenal. Doesn't mean that, you know, that's, that's, that we're going to sign him. So I don't believe the segment here. Wilfred Zaha to Arsenal? N- no. Now we're on this. Every time I, I hear there's new segments about Wilfred Zaha, I say, yeah, it should happen maybe like, it should happen now. Or it should have happened like three years ago. Now I'm saying it should have happened four years ago. It didn't happen. It's not going to happen now. So that's just speculation. Forget about that. The next new segment. <laughs> Ainsley Metanal's saga continues. Yeah, Metanal's is getting closer to seeing a move away from Arsenal, apparently, according to various reports. Again, the Arsenal, um, career, Arsenal career of Ainsley Metanal's appears to be coming to an end. 24-year-old versatile midfielder defender is no longer part of Nick Arteta's plans. Uh, was he ever? Anyway, it looks uh, yet to be another player to be shipped out. According to um, uh, Dead Express, uh, Ryan Taylor uh, says several teams have sounded out. Uh, Mate and Niles, F- uh, Fulham, uh, AFC Bournemouth, West Ham, and 12 European sides have all registered interest in 24 year old. However, no bids have been forthcoming yet. I'm just looking at can you imagine if he signed for Fulham to play with Bert Leno? That'd be very interesting. I think maybe those two clubs there. I mean, if he's playing, I don't know, Fulham, AFC Bournemouth, West Ham, he's got. If he wants to secure and 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 gather his his international career again, he's probably going to have to play for West Ham. I'm thinking Fulham, new promoted Fulham and Bournemouth. That's not going to cut it, man. I mean, I don't know who these European sides are, but. It says that there's no bids of coming yet, but I think you know his uh, England career is is that uh, I don't know a fork in the road now a crossroad. Stayed too long at Arsenal. He should have left not last season but season before that. Anyhow, anyhow, another player. The saga continues and continues goes on until the break of dawn. Is Hector Bellerin. Now, Betis uh, wants him back. Unfortunately for them, uh, they don't have the money to pay Arsenal for his signature. But Barcelona have now joined the race. I think we spoke about this last week or week before. Uh, but the Spanish giants want to, wanted to sign uh, uh, Cesar uh, Aspilicueta from Chelsea, but the move for some reason broke down, and they have now turned their attention towards Bellerin. And a report from a sport has revealed uh, by a sports witness claims that they have told him to wait for their offer. Don't, don't rock the boat. Don't upset the apple cart. <laughs> Better than by demanding, just sit there and wait for their bids. Yeah, but Barcelona want to offload some of their current players to create space uh, for him in their squad. And you know what? These or those have been the new segments current run on Canon Foy TV on this Wednesday, not bump day, Wednesday morning show over here at least. All right. So come into the live chat. Let me know your thoughts about the new segments. I know the transfer news, Pedro Neto, Yuri Tillemans, and all the other players linked to Arsenal. What are you thinking? <sighs> Dear me. Um, okay, we'll go into our Twitter feed and see if there's been any comments there. No, there's not been any comments thus far, so far. And I'm making sure I've got my phone. Align with so there's no blockage in the live chat. We're checking out here, there's not been any comments just yet, right? Uh, okay, right. So there's, there's no comments on our Twitter feed, and um, we're still not streaming live to Facebook. Um, yeah, I have to just have to wait for that one too. The, the, the developers can find a way of all the comments that our Facebook uh, viewers and followers put in there, we can I can at least pick it up here. The other platform I used to use, I'm not going to mention their name. Yeah, whatever link was linked to, you can say, oh my goodness, oh, this person's coming up. Oh, wow, okay, all right. Facebook, Twitter, of course, YouTube. But with this, I don't see, I don't see anything from Facebook, which is a real shame, a real shame. Uh, right, okay, now I believe I can go into... The post that I did yesterday, a question, 
There are two events that I've earmarked or flagged up. Which of the two events do you think will most likely happen first? So which will happen first? Choose only one. Do you think Nico Pepe will leave Arsenal? Even that event will happen first. Or do you think Arsenal will sign, I don't know, Neto, Tillemans or Pino? And I'm not saying necessarily all three players, but make one final sign before the window closes. And I tell you what, again, it's just been phenomenal. The numbers, 1,400 votes. There's not been any comments just yet, but we are kind of half over the halfway mark in regards to the likes. Let's aim for 60 likes on this post here. All right? So these are how the numbers are falling. Again, the question is, which event will happen, will most likely happen first? 34% of the subscribers believe that we will sign Neto, your elements, or Pino first. And 66% of the subscribers believe that now nah, Nico Pepe will be leaving first. What's wrong? You guys got a, you got a crystal ball or what? You got crystal ball, have you? All right, here. Yeah. Let's have a look here. Just making sure there's no. Uh, okay. All right, what was this? Okay. So, because there are no comments just yet in the live chat, um, I'll let you know now for the next few days. Um, I said yesterday was a busy day. Not only traveling to do the live show, you know, outside the, the, um, the Compton Arms. And then going to my mom's and, and help my sister lay like a lino. Now that was that ah, my good under those conditions, man. It was it was a little bit challenge, a little bit of a challenge. My back, my knees, my hands are killing me, but I've got some gardening work to do. Um and I've got some some various phone calls as well, some su surprise phone calls in regards to work placements uh, starting next week. Um yeah, the summer summer holidays is coming to an end now. So that here comes the business end of things. But um, what I wanted to say was this this week, where are we now? We're Wednesday. Um, I, will, I will not be doing an evening show yesterday. I'm going to be doing a morning show, but an evening show. I'm going to give myself you know, a little bit of, uh, how can I say, uh, time away from the channel. <laughs> Much like Sundays. No more content from me on a Sunday. Me personally, um, somebody else is going to be taking up the reins to do uh, a Sunday segment. And that's down to brilliant, you know, Paul in the North Bank. I thought last Sunday's show was a really good show that he did there. I thought, wow. So I've offered him to do that, that segment there. And again, like with most people who have families, he won't be doing it every Sunday because he has a family himself. Okay. So I need to speak to him and find out when is the next, the second Sunday segment is going to do it because I'm not doing any content on a Sunday. So Thursday um, evening, I'm not here. <laughs> Sunday, ah, uh ah, -uh, ain't happening. However, however, on Friday, I can't wait for Friday. I'm not wishing my life away, but Friday, the easy talk, the easy talk means it's Friday. We've got a, an ex-Arsenal player who played in Arsenal's double winning team, 1971. I was around in 1971. But what was I thinking? Not not football. <laughs> I was around in 1971. And I don't remember 1971. Well, my, my brother does, but I don't remember the double winning team of 1971. But my main point is, you've got to make sure that you're tuning in this Friday. It's going to be a 5 p.m. kickoff. So the earliest, it's the earliest show. It's the earliest Easy Talk that we've ever done. I mean, we've done you know an Easy Talk on a, on a, on a Saturday. It does qualify as easy talk, yeah. But it's going to be a 5 p.m. kickoff. We're going to be joined by El Tell, the original Godfather, Tim, a.k.a. Daniel Day-Lewis, and I can't remember who the other, other person is. I've forgotten my memory. But uh, make sure you tune in. That's going to be a special easy talk. 5 p.m. We're going to be joined by an ex-Arsenal legend who played in Arsenal's double-winning team, 1971. I can't wait for this one, really. Yeah. And we've got some of my brother. My brother, you know, do you know what my brother is? He is out in New York. Yeah. Having a well earned break out in New York with his daughter. So, bro, I don't think my brother's watching now. But um, 
enjoy your break, man. I've seen the photos here in Times Square. I was thinking, bro, you need to be in those photos. I mean, I can pick up bits and pieces of photos of Times Square, but show me you are in, in Times Square. Take a picture or a video of yourself in Times Square, bro. Yeah, so he won't be doing any content for, I don't know, it's up to him. It's up to him. I don't know when he's going to be coming back. So that's what's going to be happening over the next uh, few days. Okay, so remember, uh, I will come live later on this evening, but tomorrow will be a morning show, nothing in the evening. Friday will be the Easy Talk, 5 p.m. A kickoff, an hour long show. I don't do it more than an hour. And then Saturday might be the Saturday show with the guys in Central and South America. And Sunday, nothing's happening. All right. So uh, it's given a little bit of time for um, the, the live chat, just to kind of the little embers, the little embers there in, in the live chat. Let me just see. Quick, there's been any other comments uh, before I go to the live chat. Okay, I'll refresh this page here. Bear me a second, people. How <laughs> me. All right, okay, there's not been any change there. I'm just to refresh the page to see if there's been any change in regards to the, the voting that we have done. Right, so now I can go into the live chat and see who was joining us on this Wednesday morning. And it is uh, my original wingman, Monty. Morning, Alex, and come for your family. Uh, thank you, Monty, for that. I hope you're keeping well, bro. Uh, Arsenal uh, will sign Neto first. Okay. Um, what, do, do, you, do you vote? You need to put that to the vote, man. Okay, and uh, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here. And Hiro says uh, Neto first, right? Okay. Uh, Arteta has finally told anyone else the truth that he is not actually part of his plans. It's something he could have told him two years ago. Yeah. Wasted two seasons, didn't he? But you know what, Monty? I, I blame Adrian Martinez, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It might sound harsh, but did he not see what happened? to the other player who went out alone to Newcastle. The guy didn't, didn't, didn't take long to make the decision. You know what? I, it, what? you got plans for me? Because I think um, I think Arthur did, did say in the press conference that with Joe Willock, we've got some plans for him. <laughs> He's got some plans for Joe Willock. Joe Willock said, nah, 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 nah. I don't care what your plans are. I'm going back to Newcastle. I'm going back to Newcastle. Your plans are your plans, but my plan is I'm going back to Newcastle. So, mate, the Niles, man, did you not listen? To, did you not speak to you know Joe Willock? Joe Willock, did you not speak to mate, the Niles? Say, you know what, bro, man, you know that, that, don't we? What's it? One's bitten twice shy. One's bitten twice shy, mate, the Niles. Two seasons. You should have gone the first time, man. You should have gone. No longer an England international. I don't know, maybe I'm being harsh, but I don't think. I look at the demise of, of this joker, uh, Delhi Ali. You know, left Tottenham to go and play for uh, Everton. And now Everton, they're looking to offload him. So even at that time, mate and Niles, you should have left. You know, he's no longer an England international. And I think it's probably 60-40. Whether you make it in the World Cup squad, I don't think it's going to happen. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, 23 Gunners here. Gunners here. Uh, thank you for your, your time and interaction on the Yes Wonderful channel of ours. And make sure that you do, when you do come into a live chat, let us know which part of the world that you are typing from and we'll give you a shout out, a special shout out. Yeah, it's not a shout out because I, I try and read all the comments. And I'll say 80% of the time I do it. When I'm doing the Canon Project on a Monday or the Easy Talk, it's, I would say it's almost impossible. Depending how the discussion or show is going, I might just dip into the live chat. But you just op use this opportunity to come in, type in, and let us know which part of the world that you're typing from. Elmo! Wow! Morning, it's been a while. God, oh, my goodness. It's been a long while. I thought it was Elmo, my, my brother's mate, but it's not. Uh, I, Elmo, Elmo, the original Elmo. I tricked him a few years ago. I, I said to my brother, you, do you know what? Because, you know, your, your mate Elmo kind of is a bit of a joker. 
give me his number and I'll pretend to be um, Camelot. So I'm calling, I said, um, is this, I can't remember his sir. I said, is this uh, there? He said, yeah, it is. I said, well, this is Camelot. You have won 500,000 pounds. I said, really? I said, nah, and I put the phone down. <laughs> And that was more than 10 years ago. And he's still trying to get me back. <laughs> but not the same Elmo. Oh, so what I want to say is, apart from that Elmo, um, any reliable news? No. We, we spoke about, what did we speak about? We spoke about uh, Bruno Lange, you know, again, Pedro Neto. He said that it's, it's understandable. You know, a player like Pedro Neto being linked to a club like Arsenal, I was thinking... Is he trying to, what is he, is he trying to call us out or what? But he, but he wasn't. He was, he was being genuine, being very, very genuine. And then we spoke about, you know, uh, Mate and Niles and uh, bring that in. We just need to, yeah, again, with Lucas Torreira, close the chapter and move on. Close the chapter and let us move on. And who else we speak about? We spoke about, uh, it was Pedro Neto. Ah, yeah, Wilfred Zaha. I don't believe this this news. For me, this is just speculation, man. Arsenal are eyeing up Wilfred Zaha. Nah, nah. That, that's not happening. That's not true, man. It's not true. Remember the move to Wolves was blocked by Arteta, apparently? Yeah, because Arteta wanted him in his plans for him to be loaned to West Ham. Yeah, but a couple of weeks later. Bit of Nars, man. Learn the lesson. Was it once bitten, twice shy? No, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Third time, I can't remember what it, what it's saying is, but you know, you've been fooled twice, bro. And just just leave Arsenal and just just find a new new a new uh, I don't know a, a new path. Go and play for a different club, man. Not not Arsenal. It's not going to happen at Arsenal, man. Um. <coughs> Right, so <laughs> yeah, I'll read that in a minute. Now, I received some distressing news yesterday. Let me see this for a moment. I can't say it's not even breaking news. This this is distressing, disgusting uh, uh, incident that happened yesterday. Not, it was yesterday, day before yesterday. Now, one of my contributors uh, sent me a link, and, and and truth be told, I get sent a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, videos. You know, I've I've got a lot of things happening <laughs> in my life, family. My mom's not quite well, having to do work. You know, but you know, and trying to um, I'm gonna say this, um, support the channel. We've got a WhatsApp group. So a lot of things happened, you know. And again, I get sent a lot of um, material. But for some reason, I checked this one out, and it was a content creator. I'm not going to mention his name. I have reached out to him. I sent, a, I sent him an email yesterday, and I couldn't watch the entirety of his um, the video. I think he did yesterday. <coughs> but distressing. Now, I've seen his content probably once or maybe twice. I don't agree with 90%, not, not of the, the, the um, of what he says, but the way he says things. He, he's actually Arteta out. And he gives his opinion the way that he does it. Now, on the channel, you can call me um, a, a prune if you want to, I don't really care. But we don't have, we don't have our contributors we don't allow the live chat to be filled up with people using the f bomb, the c bomb, basically just using vulgar language. Yeah, so I don't, I don't, I don't like that kind of content. I wasn't brought up like that, and if I have used those words, it's in, it's in a fist of fury when I've been really angry at a particular person or people. But you're not going to see me use that forming part of the content when I come live, when I've got contributors on, you're more or less an ex-Arsenal player. But that doesn't give anyone a divine right, actually not divine, a, a right to attack someone. Now, this content creator who was saying yesterday, 
He's age 61. <coughs> he lives in West Sussex. He used to live in London, but now he lives in West Sussex with his wife. I think his kids also live out there as well. He took his wife to a restaurant, and as they were exiting the restaurant, they were accosted or approached by two youngsters who were aged 15, 16, or 16, 17 years of age, two, two boys. So they knew who he was as a content creator, you know, Arsenal content creator. And one of them approached the content creator's wife and punched his wife. Meanwhile, the other guy had a switchblade or, I don't know, or, or a standing knife and cut the content creator in his face. Now I'm thinking, what the hell is going on here? What is going on? An opinion is an opinion, is an opinion. Doesn't it give you a right to lay your hand on anybody because it's only an opinion? Absolutely ridiculous. Now he said that <coughs> he tried to fight one of them off and it didn't really work, but they, they apparently ran off and the incident was captured by CCTV. But the point I'm trying to make is, is that this guy, you know, no matter you know how he delivers his content, what kind of content he does, it's been mainly based around it's based around Arsenal. He's got different, you know, subscribers from you know all around the, the footballing world coming in, commenting. And whether you agree with what he says or how he delivers the content, it's only his opinion. It's his opinion. So I don't know whether they found those two guys, but he has said that when he finds one of them, and I'm just hoping that the police will find them first, because I'm thinking if it's me, you lay your hands on my wife, it's, it's a different story. It's a different story. So distressing just to see, because you can see he was <coughs> showing the injuries that he sustained on his face. I think just because he gave an opinion. But anyway, I've, I have reached out to him. I sent him an email yesterday. He's not responding to the email because I think he probably, he's got a lot going on at the moment. He has done a video yesterday, yesterday evening, as I understand it, thanking everyone for their support. So what he's saying is, I'm thinking, you know, do I really need this aggro? I don't need this aggro. No, I used to live in North London. I've been supporting Arsenal since 1967, he said. But do I need the aggro? Do I, I, nobody needs the aggro. Nobody needs the aggro. You're just there, just get delivering your opinion about the way you see things, how things are happening in Arsenal, much like I do here. Goodness. Anyway. Anyway, let me get back into the life. Oh, let me see if there's been any. Right. Uh, just, just refreshing the page to see if there's been any uh, change in the numbers there. <coughs> Yeah, it was, it was again. The, yesterday was what was yesterday? <laughs> it was relentless. Again, just running. Did the morning show yesterday? You know, I never told. I never told you where I was going to. I ended up doing a live show. Actually, it was a couple of full starts that for some reason it just wouldn't load up, wouldn't allow me to go live. I had to you know reboot the, the phone and then yeah, I went live and I kind of felt weird. Because I used to do a paper rounds around that area, Can Canterbury, <coughs> on the other side of a um, upper street. But you can see all those houses around there are worth millions. And I kind of felt like the people walking past me, they're probably thinking, Who is he? why is he here? And that's how I generally felt. I was thinking, maybe they might stop and say, what are you doing here? Why are you filming? I said, well, I'm filming to talk about the, the, this pub. That's why I'm here. I'm also here to talk about Arsenal. Yeah, so I had that. I had some other phone calls again, but it's, it was a busy day yesterday. Really busy day yesterday. Right, okay. So there's not any comments, no more comments here. Let me go back into the live chat. 
Pepper going, going, waiting for <laughs> the gone <bottom> pit. <laughs> Obi, good morning to you. Why Arteta and Edu are very much reluctant on Cody Gakpo and uh, Jeremy Pino transfer? Well, um, I should have probably spoken about this, which I might speak about it in depth <coughs> on the evening show, Obi. Um, no, Ajax, I can't believe what I managed by... Um, I forgot his name now. Uh, I forgot his name. Bear me a second. <laughs> the manager's name. No, it's not him. He's no longer the coach of Ajax. Then, then probably it's not him. Um, I forget his name. Anyway, but um, there is a video of him. He's saying that um, they're they're not going. Not not uh, Ajax. Um, it's PSV. Sorry. Oh, PSV. Rude Van Nistelrooy. <clears throat> There is a video of Ruud van Nistelrooy actually saying that he's determined to keep hold of Cody Gakpo. So Cody Gakpo ain't coming to Arsenal. Cody Gakpo won't be coming to Arsenal. <clears throat> but I probably can talk about that on the evening. I'm not going to talk about it now. But, yeah, it's not so much Arsenal reluctant. I think they probably had the message from beforehand that Ruud van Nistelrooy wasn't willing to let go of Cody Gakpo, at least to Arsenal. Now, maybe it was Man United. He might be thinking, ah, yeah, I'll let him go to, to Man United, my old, old club, but not to Arsenal. So Cody Gapo <clears throat> won't be coming. Won't be coming to Arsenal. Oh, my God, this is acceptable. Uh, are these two kids animals? Uh, we have uh, to respect everyone's opinion, whether you agree or not. Yeah, yeah. And, and the thing is, the guy, the content creator, was saying that um, these two uh, Arsenal fans, I think they're not Arsenal fans. For you to do that to, you know, <clears throat> literally attack this guy's wife and attack the man with, with a knife or a switchblade or whatever it was and cut the guy's face. I was thinking, I wouldn't even lay them, label them as being Arsenal, Arsenal fans. Nah, no. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Rumour um, Pepe did not uh, did not fit uh, in the Arctic to style. <clears throat> uh, listen, Obi, I understand what you're saying. But when you see, and I don't know whether he has just literally had enough, and the all or nothing, as heavily edited as it was, you probably saw only a small bit of Nicholas Pepe, and I think they were doing some kind of quiz, and Arteta said to Pepe, do you understand the quiz? And like he just put his head down like that, or he shook his head. I was thinking, is, is that it? Because they featured certain players. Did a feature on Martinez. Did a feature on um, uh, Nuno Tavares. They did a feature on Emma Smith Rowe. They spoke about Lacazette. But they didn't speak or feature Lucas Pepe. So I don't know whether the guy is thinking, actually, I've just had enough. Because when I seen him on the ball of the last performance he had, when was his last appearance? I can't remember when his last appearance. The guy just looked like, oh, you know what? But prior to that, you were given opportunities on the pitch. Season before last, you know, once the pressure was off, once we lost against Unai Emery's, you know, team, Villarreal, he scored, what, four or five goals in three games? And then last season, I thought, well, okay, so let's see what he can produce. Didn't really produce that much. And now this season's coming, and he's probably on the verge to be loaned out or sold to Nice. So I, I think for me, he's had enough chances. <clears throat> Bring back the came this young generation. If they can't uh, hear, they, they will feel it. Uh, please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here, please. Uh, massive shout out to, uh, yeah, to our 18,300. I saw you just put a little, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, on YouTube followers on other platforms. Without you, there could never ever be a Canon for the TV. And that's the truth. Uh, 23, uh, let's get 20 likes. Uh, yeah, distressing, man. Distressing. Uh, and, and upsetting as well when I saw 
what this guy had gone through. I thought, oh my goodness. Um, I told my wife, and <laughs> you know what she said? Because I don't. There, there are certain content creators who I align the channel with. I don't say myself, with, the channel with. And I've done collaborations with them. And I'm very, very picky on the people who I want to feature on the channel, whether it be you know, someone who's going to be uh, sitting here hosting the live show, whether it's going to be a contributor. So I'm very, very picky with the kind of people. And I don't always get it right. I don't always get it right, you know. But my wife said to me, I said to her what happened. He says, well, you know what, you don't want him. I said, what do you mean you don't want him? Because, well, you know, that's not the kind of person that you want to be on the show. I said, I know that, but that doesn't excuse the fact that nobody has a right to attack someone just for an opinion, an Arsenal opinion about the manager. I said, yeah, no, no, he's not a person for you. I said, yeah, yeah I know that, man. I know that. Right. Um, any more comments? If not, we will uh, roll this one up and I'll go and do my work I've got to do in the garden now. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's have a look, shall we? Mm. It's funny. All I can see now is this this guy. You know, I look at my Twitter Twitter feed, and the content creator that is front and center. I can see him there. Yeah, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So I think what I'll do. <clears throat> Let me review the news of today from Canfield TV's perspective in the in shortest format possible. Yes, Anthony. Yes, I'll get to your comment in a second, man. So, um, first up, Bruno Large reacts to Arsenal transfer interest in Wolves star Pedro Neto. And the Wolves manager has admitted it's only normal for a player you know, of uh, Pedro Neto's quality to be linked to a move to uh, a club like Arsenal. I think, is he, is he, what, is he, is he calling Arsenal out? Is he, what's he trying to say about a club like Arsenal? No, nah, he was joking. Well, he wasn't joking, but I, know, I knew what he meant. I knew what he meant. But a 22-year-old, um, he scored. Let's have a look. At, uh, no, no, it doesn't say here. No, no, no. He's the, the, the talented crop of Portuguese players who helped transform yeah, the Midlands uh, team, uh, Club Wolves, into an established Premier League force to be reckoned with. But um, I have done a video. I did do a video this morning in regards to Pedro Neto, a latest video. Check it out. Check it out and listen to it and then get back to me. <laughs> the next new segment, Wilfred, Wilfred Zaha. Speculation, been rumoured that Arsenal are eyeing up Wilfred Zaha. Yeah, three years after Unai Emery wanted to sign him and they gave him Nico Pepe. Yeah, for me, I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Yeah, the deal. This is the deal um, in the background. Uh, this person has said that um, in the background, there's Wilfred Zaha, for example. That deal is not moving forward at the moment. But Zaha is definitely one of those uh, who ticks all those boxes in Arsenal uh, have an eye on him. No, they don't. They don't have an eye on Wilfred Zaha, man. No, that's not happening. And AZ Matt and Niles and Lecter Bellerin. Yeah, Matt and Niles, man. You need to learn the lesson, man. Just move on from Arsenal. Was it for me once? Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Fool me a third time. Uh, game over. <laughs> I can't remember how it goes. But nah, 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 nah. So the, the clubs who, um, the several clubs who sounded out at uh, Maitland Niles, Fulham, Bournemouth, West Ham, uh, two other European sides. That's not seven. <clears throat> That's five. Yeah, we're interested in a 24-year-old. Uh, however, no bids have yet uh, been forthcoming. Got to ramp up and, and save and salvage your international career. You know, if you had left maybe at that time when you were linked with, what's it? I think it was also linked to Leicester, Southampton, and another Premier League team. I can't remember. Should have left at that time. Should have left at that time. <coughs> then Hector Bellerin. He's been told by... Barcelona, you know what, laddie? Don't rock the boat. Wait for our bid. I kid you not, that's what the report says there. Bellerin, what, what, pet, um, Rebatis, <coughs> wants him back. Unfortunately for them, they do not have the money to pay uh, Arsenal for his signature, but Barcelona has now joined the race. 
the Spanish giants wanted to sign a Cesar Aspilicueta from Chelsea, but for some reason that deal fell through. Uh, they have now turned their attention towards Benarin, as a report from Sport, as revealed by a sports witness, claim that they have told him to wait for their offer. Don't upset, don't rock the boat, by demanding a move. Just, just wait, just sit in the corner and we'll call you. We'll let you know when we need you. <laughs> Oh, I've got to laugh, man. Have to laugh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Last, last few now. <laughs> Anthony Scissors, Master Samuel. Yes, yes, yes. Blessings and blessings to you as well, brother. Hope, hope, hope you're keeping all right, man. 21 uh, likes. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's aim for 25 now. And Monty to remind everyone. Please make a donation uh, through the Super Chats or you can become a member of the channel if you have uh, the means to do so if you want to. Uh, and there's also the merchandise as well. I've got my homework cut out. That's what I'm saying. I've got so much things to do for so little time. And I've got to make some modifications to the merch store because I'm still waiting for John the Geezer Guna. Yeah, for his forfeit. It's got, it's got to walk down Tottenham High Road. It was supposed to be bearing the, the new pink top. That's his forfeit. But, um, yeah, I've got some work to do on that. You know what? Uh, we have come to an end on this Wednesday. Not bum day. Yeah, not bum day. Wednesday morning show over here on our channel. It's now 15 minutes before the hour of midday. And I've got a phone call. Oh, what's my brother? My brother just sent me a message here. Uh, I was, yeah. Yeah. Um, 15 minutes, so I am going live. I will be back a little bit later on um, this evening, doing a live a show. I've got to head out to the garden to do some more live work, and I'm also expecting uh, a phone call anytime now. My brother has just sent me a message direct from New York. New York, New York. <laughs> Monty, my original win, man. Thank you for that, man. And keep up those, those, those comments you put on your WhatsApp profile, man. I'm liking them. Unfortunately, I can't content con comment on the channel, but yeah, whenever you put your, you, you change your status, I do comment and I completely agree with you, but I can't go into detail on, on the channel. But anyhow, this um, has been Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. <laughs>